Let's take a look at the windows. There is a little bit of a maintenance that needs to, to happen on your windows to ensure that when it rains, as much of that rainwater goes outside the window. You'll notice that every window has weep holes. You may have two, you may have four. Uh, it depends on the window manufacturer and what their specifications are. Um, now the main thing with this, you'll notice a weather strip here. That weather strip does help to deflect a lot of the water off of the windows and away from the water track. If you'll see here, you'll notice that it is just a touch short on the window. And this may happen over time. Uh, these may start to shrink a little bit. You can definitely replace them. Uh, but the primary thing to keep in mind, rainwater of course comes down. So as it hits the camper, it rolls down. This is the primary section that needs to be deflected. You could simply take it out, move it around and slide it to close this gap because having a gap on the top side is not going to be that big of a deal. Now, we also want to make sure that we're always taking this out and cleaning everything as good as possible. If the water track actually gets full of debris or dirt or anything and clogs these weep holes, then it's going to cause that water to back up inside the water track, eventually backing up to the inside of the camper. So you can pull this whole entire weather strip out of the window. You'll notice on this one, it has not been cleaned. Now, if you let it get this dirty, it may be very hard to get all of this off of the weather strip at this point. So it's definitely a good idea to, to keep it clean as much as possible. Now let's take a look at the inside of this window track so that you can take a look at what I'm talking about, what we need to clean. You can actually use some air, uh, actually use it like an air gun and blow it out. Uh, you can use water, just keep in mind that the water track on the window system is from the outside and does actually go to part of the inside of the window. So if you spray water directly in here or you spray air, it can actually get to the inside, blowing some of this to the inside of the camper. So you definitely want to make sure it's a controlled and it's coming out of the camper. But let's go ahead and take a look at the inside section down in here of this window track. Now, if you take a look down inside, you can see a little bit of dirt debris that has gotten down inside this track. Um, once it rains water, some of it may come out the weep hole, some of it may actually stop and clog the weep hole up. So every once in a while you will want to take this bulb seal out and clean this water track. You'll, if you look up and under the center support, you may also notice it does get a little dirty on the other side of the stationary window. You may want to go to the inside and try to, to blow it out from the inside section so that you're blowing it to the outside. Now this section here, uh, what we usually do is try to blow a little bit of it out. Uh, then we'll take something like uh, rubbing alcohol or some type of cleaner and go in there and kind of clean as much of it up as possible. Once you've got it clean, you'd simply replace the, the weather strip back into the window and you're good to go. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you've learned something about your Oliver Travel Trailer and please be sure to check us out online at olivertraveltrailers.com.